Welcome to my support set spotlight for Rowing Opportunist. In this video I will explain everything you need to know about this powerful support set. So Rowing Opportunist is a very popular five piece offensive support set from the Greymore chapter, more specifically the trial Kain's Aegis. It has a normal and perfected version with the normal version dropping from bosses on normal difficulty as well as chests on both normal and veteran difficulty. And the perfected version only drops from bosses on veteran or hard mode difficulty as well as weekly leaderboard rewards. As minor set bonuses it has spell penetration, minor slayer and spell damage. And the five piece bonus reads as after completing a fully charged heavy attack, you and up to five group members gain Major Slayer, increasing your damage done to dungeon, trial and arena monsters by 10% for one second for every 600 spell damage or 6300 magicka you have. Roaring Opportunist can only affect a target every 22 seconds, maximum duration 12 seconds. There are currently two support sets providing Major Slayer, a very important buff for damage optimization. Those sets are Master Architect and Roaring Opportunist. The main difference being that Master Architect only affects 6 players, while Roaring Opportunist can be kept up on 12 players by simply heavy attacking twice. The 22 second cooldown of Roaring Opportunist is specific to the affected players, guaranteeing the Major Slayer to actually hit all 12 players of a trial group when used twice. The practically achievable uptime of Roaring Opportunist is also higher, making the set generally significantly more efficient in trials. The maximum uptime is 54% and can be increased further with the set Jovolt's Guidance to 76%. The uptime is also dependent on the user's spell damage and maximum magicka. As both scaling factors are additive, the required stats are quite achievable for any reasonable healing build. To calculate your duration, you simply divide your spell damage by 600 and your magicka by 6300 and add up both results. Keep in mind that you need to take your actual stats during combat, otherwise you can end up with significantly lower results. Roaring Opportunist can and usually should be played on the back bar only and ideally with a Flame of Frost staff. As those heavy attacks are more reliable than those of Shock and Restoration staff and allow for pre-channeling. While the set is very versatile, it should at least in raids usually be combined with Jovolt's Guidance for optimal efficiency. So these are the build requirements for optimal uptimes. But how do you use the set in combat to actually achieve them? Everything relies on good timing and planning. You want to refresh the set as close to every 22 seconds as possible, unless you need to delay it for something like a damage stop. As the set is triggered when the heavy attack fires, starting the heavy attack when the set has still about 2 seconds of cooldown remaining is ideal. By the same principle, you can already start channeling your heavy attack about 2 seconds before a pull or end of a damage stop. While you're heavy attacking, you can't do much else, so planning is important. Make sure your healing and support does not run out during your heavy attacks and you're not heavy attacking during a mechanic that requires you to block, dodge or move quickly. Rowing Opportunist has a range limit, however it is quite big, so you mostly don't need to worry about it. As a rule of thumb, don't try activating it if the group is outside of your maximum healing range. For proper timing, tracking the set's cooldown is a game changer. For PC players, I absolutely recommend a corresponding add-on such as Roaring Opportunist or OD Hybrid Heal. Console players unfortunately do not have a proper way of tracking the set. So in conclusion, should you acquire and use Roaring Opportunist? For trial content it is one of the strongest support options. In optimized groups it should always be present in boss encounters and be combined with Jovolt's Guidance. Its viability in trash fights is dependent on the fight length and time between fights. Breaks need to be longer than the remaining cooldown and fights need to be under 15 seconds for opportunist on its own and between 15 to 20 seconds for opportunist with Jovolts to really be efficient. In 4 player content, Roaring Opportunist is absolutely a viable set as well, 
however, has equal or even better alternatives and should not be combined with Jobolt's guidance, as the space is simply better used for a second offensive support set. For PC players, Rowing Opportunist is a medium difficulty support set, requiring properly timed input, but being very easy to track and having no difficult or weakening build requirements. For console players, the set is, however, significantly harder to use, and its viability over Master Architect might even be questionable due to the tracking issues. But I'm not a console player, so feel free to correct me on that if you have more insight. Generally, I would recommend picking up the set for anyone getting into serious trial content. Even if you're not a player that can use the set all the time, there are still many situations where it is really, really strong. You also don't need to worry about the perfected version. The normal version is just as viable and fairly easy to come by for anyone capable of doing normal trials. And in terms of roles, Rung Opportunist can be used by Magicka damage dealers, so it can't hurt picking it up if you have the chance, but as it is primarily used by healers, I only recommend actively farming it for those. So I hope you enjoyed this video and most importantly got the information you were looking for. I am planning to turn this format into a series covering many other support sets as well, so stay tuned and thanks for watching.